Now, most of us are still recovering from the recent crypto bloodbath in May and then the sudden bounce of just last weekend. You're probably wondering how is it that traders can make sense of market conditions and actually find reliable ways to make profits what kind of magic is this? Well, there's no magic secret. In our view, three of the best trading strategies for beginners you can start using now in 2021. Next, we will cover another three more advanced strategies for traders who want to go to the next level. So stay tuned. Now, if you are new here, please subscribe. We're getting so close to 10K and we want to celebrate with you all. So like the video, it also helps. Now, first remember, no crypto trading strategy will always be a winner. Successful traders don't succeed at every single trade. Expert traders just employ techniques that have them making a profit more often than not. So the first we're going to cover today is dollar cost averaging, which is the practice of performing regular, usually smaller purchases of an asset over a longer period of time. Now, there are a few different ways to look at this, but let's start with a situation where you want to buy $1,000 worth of Bitcoin and hodl it for several years, as you believe it will continue to appreciate. So you could just buy $1,000 today at whatever price it is, or wait for a significant price dip. That is assuming that that dip is coming. Now, buying all at once or gradually are both fair options, but rely a lot on uncertainty, chance, and also just a little bit of faith. So an alternative to this is dollar cost averaging, because in this scenario, you take that same $1,000 and buy, for example, $100 a month for 10 months or $20 a week. Now, by doing this, you can significantly offset volatility in the market. This means that while you didn't probably buy at the best lows, you also likely didn't buy all the highs either. Neither hurts to secure just that little bit more peace of mind. The next one is one that we cover quite a lot on this channel is Crypto Fundamental Analysis or FA. Now, traditionally, this has been used to look for intrinsic value of crypto projects. This is different from technical analysis where traders will work with the price action only. So you start by looking at a project and you have to look at it and wonder, is there a team behind the project? If so, who are they? They ideally should be transparent about their credentials and their history. If you're invested in this team, is there a risk that they could just disappear? This is why it's generally really important to learn at least a little bit about major players on a team before investing in anything. If they can show you other successful projects they've worked on, all the better. But if you can't find the main names and faces behind a project, this potentially could be a huge red flag. So stay away from projects with anonymous core team members. And a good core project actually has a pretty solid and clear documentation available, presumably from a team website or also from community channels. The next one is so important, read the white paper and see what people are saying on social media, particularly on Twitter and also Reddit. And ask yourself, do I understand this project? What kind of asset and demand is there for this? And is it really needed in the industry? If you understand the credentials, the likelihood is other investors will as well. This is where you also want to be having a look at some of these hard numbers. Now, generally speaking in crypto, there won't be an earnings report like there would for a traditional company. And even if they are, they might not be as relevant to the validity of a project as they were to stocks, just because the crypto market is quite volatile. However, it can be important to look at the current price, circulating supply, market cap, and traded volume. You can actually find out how to read the indicators in an article in the description box below. So check that out and look into it as well. I also like to go with the strategy that if you can explain the concept in three sentences, then it makes sense. Otherwise, if you're still left confused, it's probably not worth investing in for you. And now our final for today, moving into technical analysis, divergences are the most popular technical approach by many traders used in all time frames and with many other indicators alongside it. In this case, we're going to talk about relative strength index or RSI, which is a really popular indicator that basically charts buy and sell side momentum in the market. So assuming you already know how to spot and draw trend lines, a divergence occurs when the trend line that you drew for the price action doesn't actually correlate with the trend line that you've spotted on the RSI. For example, this is a clean bullish divergence. Now, if you can see here, the trend lines are going in clearly different directions, both for the price action and also the RSI readings. The price action was sitting at lower lows, but the RSI was starting to hit higher lows. Now, there are many kinds of divergences though, and see the next picture and assume the blue lines is the price action and the red one is your supporting indicator. In this case, the RSI. So all in all, divergences are what you're looking for. 
be patient because they show up under certain conditions and there is no guarantee the market will give you one right away. See the bullish divergence examples again and notice how prices began to rise after the divergence disappeared. Divergences are a really powerful tool because this shift would have been harder to spot if you were only paying attention to the value of the RSI and not the ongoing trend or price action. So there we have three key beginning trading strategies there. Let me know which one maybe you've used already or one that might be new to you. I know for me, I'm definitely going to look at implementing RSI a little bit more in future trades. And if you do want to see more advanced strategies next week, check back in. As always, guys, if you are looking to get started, you can trade top crypto futures or hold them on Stormgain, which is being crypto's partner crypto exchange. The link is down in the description box below and you might get a cashback promotion on your very first deposit. That's all from me. Please make sure to subscribe to not miss any more content like this. And we'll see you all again for our next set of videos.